What's going on, Titans fans? Harrison Graham here from Chat Sports. Filming a quick video from my kitchen table because I wanted to bring you guys some news here on Tennessee Titans today. Harold Landry has re-signed on a five-year contract worth $87.5 million, 52 and a half of which are guaranteed. Now we're going to break this down in further detail, give you some thoughts, some opinions, some analysis of this re-signing. But first, this is why you subscribe to Titans today, because whether we're in the studio, whether it's me or Tom Downey or Mitchell Renz or someone else at Chat Sports, we're bringing you the latest Titans news and rumors. And when things happen, we're going to be able to break it all down for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. So let's get into the news of the night. Harold Landry, five years, $87.5 million, over 52 guaranteed. And, you know, the franchise tag window came and went at 4 o'clock Eastern earlier today. And no deal or no tag for Landry. And we didn't really know what that meant because a lot of times when – Franchise tag candidates don't get tagged. Uh, the thought is, okay, well, they're just going to let them test and hit the open market. But we kept hearing, no, 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 the Titans, they want to keep Landry. They want to keep him uh, long term after his rookie contract ran out, obviously, uh, this past season. And now that has proven to be the case. Just six, you know, a few hours, five, six hours after the deadline, uh, they now have a long term agreement. And it's a nice deal because, sure, they're paying him. You know, quick math, you have $17.5, $18 million per year on a new contract, which is a lot, uh, but did have a career year, 12 sacks, uh, 75 tackles, first Pro Bowl season in the NFL. Uh, but the reason this is big more than any other reason is the way his contract is structured for 2022, this upcoming season, his cap hit's only going to be just over $5 million, according to reports. Uh, whereas if you got franchise tagged and played under the tag, that would have been an 18 plus million dollar cap hit. So the Titans come out ahead for about $13 million against the cap for this season. So that allows them to be more flexible, uh, go out and sign some guys if they want to. If they want to get active on the quarterback market, I kind of think that ship has sailed with Aaron Rodgers no longer available as he's staying in Green Bay. I would expect Ryan Tannehill remains as the quarterback, but with the way they structured Harold Landry's contract here, they're able to have more flexibility in NFL free agency. Grade this signing here, Landry, five years, $87.5 million. A, B, C, D, or F. Leave a comment down below and uh, let us know how you feel about this one. It's certainly big. I, it's a B plus, A minus signing for me. A, I'd give it an A based on how the 2022 structure is. And overall, you're keeping a good player. This is the goal when you draft players, right? Especially high in the first, second, third, fourth round. Uh, you bring them into your system. They play well. And you re-sign them. That's ideally what you want to do. Because if you re-sign them, that means they're good players and you drafted well. That is the best way to build a roster. Draft good players, groom them, and then keep them for a second contract. That, that that's, that's ideal. Now, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes you miss on draft picks. Sometimes you trade draft picks to go get players like the Rams do all the time. But I'm a firm believer of building through the draft. And Landry is, is, is a uh, product of that. They identified him. Had some ups and downs, nine sacks in his second year. Kind of took a step back last year, but this year uh, had a really, really good year with 12 and a half sacks. And he's a guy that should be a plug and play on Mike Vrabel's defense for years to come. I think he will be uh, an impact player in this defense in Tennessee for a very, very long time. So I think Titans fans should be happy about this. We'll see how the rest of uh, you know the week goes leading up to free agency next week. Uh, but no panic. I, I know there was some worry after the franchise tag uh, deadline came and went. But now Harold Landry uh, is here for the long haul as he gets that five-year $87.5 million contract with 52 and a half guaranteed. Uh, good for him. Now it's time to get back to work and uh, to gear up for this upcoming season because I feel like Tennessee is a team that's that's still lurking and right there with, with, with the chance to make a run next year. I mean, this was the number one seed in the AFC last year and, you know, didn't play well against Cincinnati, but the defense is pretty solid. The offense should get back on track with a healthy Derrick Henry next year. You've got A.J. Brown and Julio Jones. Hopefully Tannehill bounces back after a down year. Uh, there's no reason why uh, this team can't uh, have success in 2022 in a division which, quite frankly, still should be Tennessee's for at least 
uh, the near future uh, moving forward here. So Harold Landry back on a five-year, $87.5 million contract. That is the news of the night. Name another player you would like to see the Titans sign in free agency. Go ahead and get down in the comments. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, next time we have a video for you guys, we should be back in studio. So we greatly appreciate it, and uh, we're going to sign off here on Tennessee Titans today.